A vast mateys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. We've returned to Dangle Island, where the Armada has finished construction on the lift that will take them to the deep sky, towards the ancient lost city of Saltus that was sunk beneath the clouds. So we need to make our way down there to stop Gaussian and Ramirez from reviving the city, and Zelos, the most powerful and ancient of all the Gygas. I hope that this works. Well, there's only one way to find out. Punch it, Gilda. So we need to get down to Saltus as quickly as we can to stop Gaussian and Ramirez from reviving it. Because if they manage to break the seal on Zelos, they could call down the reins of destruction. Alright, it's moving. Yeah, it looks like this will take us straight to Saltus. You'll be dead before you get there. If it isn't Vigaro. Hey, baby. Hey there, Red. Did you miss me? It's Vigaro. I've been thinking about you. I can't believe this guy. He just doesn't know when to give up. I remember you, Vyz. This time, I'm ready for you. Let's settle this, once and for all. So it's time for us to take down another Admiral of the Armada. We just killed Deloco, and now we're gonna take down Vigaro. So this time, Vigaro's brought his cannon and armor. So now he has no excuse to lose to us. So let's start off with our purple element weapons, and go for a Cutlass Fury. And let's buff up Vi so he does even more damage. And everyone else just focus. So the first time we beat him in hand-to-hand -hand combat, he blamed his loss on his lack of weapon and armor. So now he has no excuse, since he's brought them with him. Now that's not how you use the cannon, Vagaro. You're supposed to shoot it. Never mind. So this guy won't take too long to take down. We've already beaten him once before in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and we beat his airship as well. So now we're just going to prove to him how inferior he truly is to the mighty man that is Vyz. So let's go for another Cutlass Fury. Everyone else just focus up. Right, so it looks like I didn't heal up Gilda before this fight. So he could be in trouble. It depends what he plans to do with that cannon of his. So the Armada is almost out of Admirals. Since Alfonso's already betrayed Gaussian. Random fire. And Beleza seems to be second guessing him. And Deloco's already dead. And so is Gregario. And once we beat Vigaro, then there's really only gonna be um, Gaussian and Ramirez left. Right, we could easily probably finish this right now with a Pirate's Wrath. Also, I want you to try attacking him and see if you can confuse him. And Fina, you just throw up a safety heal. You know what, Gilda? Shoot him in the face. Here goes. Hey. Right, so Ike still immune to physical damage, and yes, he can be confused. Take that. Well, it serves you right, Vigaro, for constantly confusing Ike on our first battle. So we could cheese this fight by just constantly confusing him and then he won't be able to do any actions. But we really don't need to do that. Time for Ika's Wrath. Against the man who just will not accept no for an answer. Again. 
Sorry, Vigaro, but you truly stood no chance against us. It's about time you accepted that. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, it was very easy. I think that was quicker than the first time we fought him. And he didn't even have his weapon with him at the time. And we get a Piranta Seed for even more power with eyes. <laughs> I give up. You're the better man. I didn't think there was anyone in this world other than Lord Gaussian that could best me. Right, we finally made our way to the lift. Gaussian and Ramirez are down below. Good luck, kid. Red, looks like this is goodbye. The strongest man has the right to be with the finest woman. Vi just stomped me pretty good, so I don't deserve you. Wow, maybe you didn't come off so strong, you might actually be appealing. So what are you gonna do now? I don't know, maybe I'll become an air pirate like you guys. As long as there are beautiful women in this world, I'll keep fighting. Goodbye. So long, blue rogues. Maybe we'll need to run into each other again someday. Right, so he's lost one more Admiral. So at this point it really is just Gaussian and Ramirez who are left. Well that's what they get for betraying everyone, and turning into tyrants. Everyone who was backing them has now given up on them. Right, so here's the elevator that's going to take us down into the deep sky, to where Saltus is. Even though the Delphinius can actually enter Saltus, I mean rather it can enter the vortex but can go down. So is that a ladder? Right, let's go up there. We sadly can't actually reach Saltus with the Delphinius because it's outside the Vortex. And the winds were simply too strong for our engine. It probably would have just broken up our ship if we tried it. Alright, so it looks like this is the entrance. So it's time to go and confront Ramirez and Gaussian, and put an end to their tyrannical scheme. All we need to do is take back the Moon Crystals before they can awaken the Gygus. And if we can keep them out of their possession, then they won't be able to awaken him, and their entire plan will be ruined. I do wonder how we built this place, to be honest. Alright, got ourselves a save point, let's take good advantage of that. Dangle below the clouds. So this must be Saltus. The ancient civilization of the Silver People. So we know that the um, Great Silver Shrine that was sent up into space used to be a part of this area, and the rest of this place was sunk beneath the clouds to keep it safe from anyone who would want to abuse their powers. Oh, before we go in here, let's first examine. It looked like we could look upwards in this room. No, never mind, we can't go into first person. When we went through that door, it looked like um, the ceiling might have looked appealing to examine. This is amazing! This definitely screams the final boss room. So 
So, he made it this far. Gaussian and Ramirez. What is that? Vise, that sphere is the Silver Gygus. Zelos. What? That's the Gygus? Vise, look. The moon crystals. They're using the crystals to break the seal. Once Zelos is freed, I shall control the greatest weapon of all time. I will be able to call down the reins of destruction at will. And then, my reign shall begin. The six moons shall obey my commands. You may live long enough to see it. Then again, you may not. And we have a rematch with the Sentinel. This was the second boss of the game, which we fought on Shrine Island. So it looks like it was one of the silver weapons that must have been there to guard Shrine Island. This, guy, this time he's called the Eliminator. Well, let's take him down. Yellow is super effective against silver, so let's get started. We're just gonna buff eyes. And everyone else just focus. So we probably can't confuse this guy with Ica. I think it's just um, a gimmick we can do on Vigaro. As most bosses are normally immune to all statuses. So we're probably actually going to kill this thing a lot quicker than the first fight we had with it. Because we're so much more powerful now compared to the start of the game. But it does have a lot of health. So his attacks are going to be identical to the first time we fought him. So this time we might actually get to see his laser beam we didn't see the first time. Might everyone else just focus up? It's the first time we fought him, for some reason he never used his main laser beam attack which he's meant to do. Which is supposed to happen every time after he does the target focus. This guy might even survive a Pirate's Wrath. He's got chunky health. Yeah, here we go, Laser Blast. Oh wait, no, that's a different attack, never mind. So maybe that one has a chance to cause instant death or something, because it did very low damage. Well, I guess we're not going to see his main attack this time either. You know, we have the spare energy, we may as well throw out a Lunar Blessing for the hell of it. And Gilda, you just shoot the guy in the face. So we have reached a point of the game now where we're so powerful, we don't even really need to use defensive abilities that often. And Vyze can just wreck the faces of any boss we encounter. We still have to be careful with the optional bosses, but for the most part, the actual main bosses of the story now, we are pretty much going to outman. Yeah, this guy's got even more health than Vagaro, which I guess is to be expected. He is an ancient weapon after all. Right, that attack was slightly stronger than his powered up one before. Well, you know what we haven't done for a while? We haven't had a chance to show off Gilda's gunslinger. Ha! 
since Gilda's been out of the party for a long time. Yeah, even our normal attack now goes over a thousand damage. Even though at this point in the game there's very little point to do with a normal attack with Vi's. Since we can afford a, um, a Cutlass Fury easily. Yeah, Gunslinger was barely stronger than uh, Vi's normal attack. Vi's really has become the powerhouse of our team. See, you know what I want to test? Do we have um, a turn on? No, we don't. Never mind. Well, but let's end this in style. Everyone throw out a super move. And we'll see who gets it. My advice is the one to finish it. Yeah, so this boss can do a frontal laser beam attack that hits all targets in a line after he does the target search. It's just that he's decided not to do it both times we fought him. He went down like a chump. Is it over already? Okay, now it's time to stop uh, Gaussian. Gilda needs to catch up in levels quite a bit. And we get ourselves a Moonberry. Very good. You would have only disappointed me if you died, but you were too late. Well, this isn't good. He broke the seal! Zelos, I am your master. Raise the lost continent of Soltis. From this day forth, Soltis shall be my castle. Farewell, air pirates. This place shall become your grave. I do like that uh, Gaussian at this point is just like, yeah, we just want to watch you fight that random, like, guardian, and then we're going to leave. Vise, we've got to hurry. Zelos is raising Saltus. We have to get back to Dangle Island. We can't stay here! Vice, hurry! Damn it, we are so close! Alright everyone, go back to Dangle Island. Yeah, I'm unsure if um, he was just buying time with that Guardian that we fought. Or if he just raised the Guardian against us just for the hell of it, just to watch us fight it. I can't go into first person view here to look at the ceiling. Which is a shame because the ceiling is probably beautiful. Oh, we need to get out of here before this entire place uh, collapses around us. If we can get back to the Delphinius, then we should be able to somehow stop them. We have destroyed every other Geiger so far, after all. And this one doesn't look very big. So a Moonstone Cannon to the face should solve it. Well, this place seems to be surprisingly stable, considering the fact that this entire continent is about to arise from beneath it. Ah, oh, well, at least it means we have time to get out of here. Hopefully, Vigaro sent back down the lift for us. 
Hey, he did. Thanks, Vigaro. You're a total bro. Oh, now we just gotta rely on this getting up there before the continent rises. Vice, what's going on? I don't know. You gotta be kidding. I'm trying, I'm trying. It's no use, there's no power. I got an idea. Vise! Vise, what do you think you're doing? Come on, let's go. Let's go? What do you mean, let's go? Y you don't mean. Yes, we're gonna have to run up the rail. Hurry, I don't know how much longer it'll hold. You're serious. Advise. Um, some of us aren't as young as they used to be, you know? What's that? So the silver continent of Saltus is now rising from the depths. So these are all the islands that we saw when we were going through the vortex. And there's the giant pillar that was in the center. It's Saltus! Hurry! This railing isn't going to last much longer. Fina, you go first. Okay. Yeah, this is an insane idea, but we really don't have a choice in the matter. We've got to risk it, otherwise we're dead. Well, we definitely got out just in time. Run! Go, go, go! Well, you know what we gotta do, we just gotta run up the rail and hope we don't die. So I believe this is as fast as we can run. So hopefully it's going to be enough. Because we've got a long way to go. I like how the veils are just falling apart piece by piece slowly. Rather than the whole thing. It's very helpful. Well we kind of failed in our mission. That was too close. Vice, this way, hurry! At least we tried. And there's always going to be another way to stop them. Hurry, Vice, get off the rail! Vice! That was a bit late, wasn't it, guys? Well, that was calling it very close. Why is the ground shaking? So it seems like Saltus raising is affecting the whole world. Esapa, what's the meaning of this? I don't know, the winds are shifting. Something's very, very wrong.
Hey, Shrine Island, the first dungeon of the game. So it looks like Shrine Island used to be a part of the Silver Continent Saltus. What the? Man, Dragri, he's just trying to get on with his life and start fishing again. And then this happens right in front of him. At least now you can easily see why the vortex was created, because this thing sunk right beneath it. Yeah, Shrine Island fits perfectly there. So if there's going to be any way we can get inside, it's going to be via Shrine Island. Well, we know what we gotta do. Let's make our way to Shrine Island and take Gaussian down. So let's check the map. So now the map marks this location as Saltus. And as you can see, Shrine Island is right in the centre of it. You can also see on the world map that all of the sky rifts have gone. Saltus rising from the depths has permanently changed the world. So at this point in the game, you absolutely want to find all the discoveries before now. Because they become a lot harder to find at this point. Anyway, that's enough talking about that. Let's go to Shrine Island and go take the battle back to Gaussian. What's wrong? Why did we stop? I remember hearing about a Dome of Light. Dome of Light? Yes, it was an ancient defense mechanism. It was able to protect Soltis from the Gygus. Gaussian is using it to protect himself from us. We've got to find a way through it. You're hiding behind a wall, eh, Gaussian? The Dome of Light is impenetrable. Not even the Delphinius can touch us. Ramirez, I believe that the world needs a demonstration of our power. As you wish. Vira could use a little rain. Silver Geiger, Silos, obey my command. Call forth the rains of destruction from the Yellow Moon. The Rains of Destruction were the thing that destroyed the ancient world. Is that... No! And Gaussian uses it without even a second thought. He truly is a monster. Feels like a storm is brewing. Hey, look at the moon. Is that an eclipse? The moon looks rather odd, wouldn't you say? Who cares about the moon? We're late for a party, and I simply look ravishing in my new dress. Your Majesty, perhaps you would be more comfortable sitting. Beleza, look at the moon.
And to think that the people of the Silver Civilization willingly use this on the entire world. You're on your own, Empress. I'm getting out of here. Guards, has got me out of here at once. Enrique, hang on. Don't worry about me. Just go. The Grand Fortress is still standing. We're trapped. No wonder why the ancient world was destroyed. Just looking at the damage that a single act of arenes of destruction can deal. <laughs> Excellent. I have won. Now all shall bow before me. The world is mine. Well, the Silver Civilization definitely outdid themselves. With making the most powerful of all the Gygas. Prince Enrique. At least Enrique's still alive. It seems like Belez is the only admiral left. Your Majesty, you're alive. Belez. Belez, I I thank you for saving my life. There's no need to thank me. It's a miracle that either of us are alive. Valuer, what happened to Valuer? Are the people all right? Belez, Belez, what happened? What? Well, the game definitely took a dark turn all of a sudden. The value have may have been trying to conquer the world, but they didn't deserve this. Even the Grand Fortress is destroyed. No, it can't be. It's not real, it can't be real. Blezza, please. Please tell me this is all just a bad dream. Prince Enrique, I'm sorry. Blezza was sent here under the belief that she could stop the Reigns of Destruction from happening. And clearly Gaussian betrayed her and didn't care if she was caught up in it. I can't believe that they actually used the Reigns of Destruction. Athena. Vise, maybe we should just head back to Crescent Isle and take a minute to regroup. We can't do anything to Saltis right now anyway. You're right. I really hate to do this. It looks like we have no choice but to head home for now. So we can't reach Saltis. If we try and if we try to go in, we're just blocked off by this. And there's now this giant uh, hole in the sky above Saltis as well from the Reigns of Destruction. So we're actually high in the sky, but like I said before... Uh, now that all the clouds are gone, it's actually very hard to see how high we are, and where any of the sky rifts are. Because we're still in the upper sky at the moment, but there's simply no visible clouds. And then down there, in the deep sky, is one of the discoveries that would previously have been very hard to see. So you definitely want to grab all of the possible discoveries before this moment in the game. Otherwise you're in for a real bad time trying to find them all. 
There is one thing that's still here, though, and that will be the, um, the Dark Rift. The Black Moonstones inside are too powerful for to be affected by Saltus. So before we go anywhere, let's head over to um, Valua and have a look at the damage that's been caused. The Valuan Ruins. Man, even the map is updated. Seriously, value an airship, you're still willing to fight after what just happened? Okay. I think you got more pressing matters than attacking us, mate. Value Inspector Spellship. Impudent air pirate, you dare challenge the Armada? You will learn to fear the magic cannons aboard these new spellships. For now, let's fire off our 5-inch. Then let's just increm ourselves and focus up. Guys, you should really just be heading home to Valua and try and help with the rebuilding or something. You know, try and help everyone to survive. Don't just pick fights out here. So in order to get um, the final super boss of a game available, we need to build. We need to beat about 12 random airship battles, which I'll be doing off screen. I think we've already done about six of them, so we shouldn't need that much more. The main issue is apparently you need to kill 2,500 monsters, and I just checked with the guy above the Dark Rift, and I've not even beaten a thousand monsters, and we're at the end of the game. So if that's true, it's really stupid. So I guess I'm gonna have to go to the Looper Land uh, and just kill things for ages and hope to eventually unlock that super boss. Because it would be nice to get that done just before we finish the game. Right, Moonstone Cannon next turn, but you probably won't be alive. Let's uh, drill in the enemy. Oh man, he's behind us. I should have expected that. Yeah, this drilling won't hit him. I wanted to do it early, so we could have had the most effect from it. But it was dumb to try and use it on that turn. Oh well, he might survive long enough to be hit by the Moonstone Cannon. Now go back to Valua and help people to uh, survive, mate. I'm sure there's survivors who need you. We got a floor heater and a triple turbo. Well, I guess we may as well have a look at those items. See if we have any upgrades. Is it better than the timing valve? It is actually better. Oh, excellent. A triple turbo kit for maximum engine power, for a speed boost even greater than the twin turbo. Okay, and I guess instead of a wooden doll now, let's put on the spherical figurine. A glowing sphere that increases magic defense. And then with Fina, let's just uh, heal up the ship. 
Or at least that random airship battle had a good um, reward behind it. Alright, so Vyra should be just around here. Yeah, it should be just to our right. Right, so here's the destroyed Grand Fortress. See, even the lower city was decimated. The people there didn't stand a chance. They already lived in terrible conditions before the catastrophe. And this is all that remains of the Imperial Palace. So that's the end of uh, Theodora's ambitions, at least. And Alfonso is also there, so it's a good thing that he's dead, at least. And Upper City also didn't stand a chance. So, oh, over here is the Colosseum. Well, at least they won't be uh, executing anyone anymore. Okay, we need to head back home to Crescent Isle. We've done all we can at the moment. We need to find a way to break that shield before we can take down Gaussian and Ramirez and destroy Zelos and sink the continent once more because only then will the world truly be safe. So Crescent Isle should be just around here. Yep, there it is. So we're going to save the game here, and we'll be back to try and figure out a plan to take down the tyrant. See you next time.